haya kwa majina naitwa Penina Wahu kutoka LD but nakaa hapa Kawangware ndio nimeka biashara ya salon hapa Kawangware kenye naona inanisaidia na hii biashara yangu ni mambo na chama za wamama chama za wamama zinasaidia sana sana kama umelemewa na business wanakuja wanakuinua kwa saa hizi mimi niko na chama ine mi nimeona hizo chama zimenisaidia juu kama hii ya utugi naendanga kutembelea wazazi kupitia hizi chama za wamama tumeungana mtu akiwa na jambo kama umelemewa kama uko na ugonjwa wanakuja wanakutembelea hapo awali nilikuwa na circle but nikakuja nikaona afadhali nilikuwa tu kwa hizi chama za wamama kuliko circle but nikaona chama za wamama zinasaidia juu nikitaka kitu emergency naenda tu kwa chama nawaambia alafu kama ni kitu kunisaidia kama pesa kidogo tu ya kuinua biashara yangu wananipatia hata kama sijaweka stock ya kutosha kwa kazi yangu lakini natarajia nitaweka ya kutosha kupitia hizo chama naenda na wakopa kidogo kidogo na kuja naendelesha biashara yangu kuna watoto wawili mmoja kwa class 7 na mwingine kwa class 1 na kupitia hizo chama za wamama at least jeiona mtoto wangu amefukuzwa mi kulingana na kwenye chama zimenipeleka na kwenye zimenifikisha mi sio ni maana ya banka ama circle mi nategemea naona tu afadhali tu nikae na hizi chama za wamama ju kwa bank tuweka pesa umeeka umeeka lakini at last maybe kama unataka loan itabidi ufuate procedure kubwa sasa mi sio nikae naweza kufungua any circle acha niendelee tu na chama za wamama Uh, my name is Kevin Mulwa. I sell suits in town. Uh, we've been in this business for the last 10 years. Much experience, challenges here and there. There has been challenges like you save with the bank, then when you go for loan maybe to boost your business, uh, you think you 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 get they want so much. I had another bank which I used to operate uh here in town they add so much uh, hidden charges where you find when you are getting your statement you get they have charged you so much and when you go back there and you ask they they have no answers you are, you are taken from one one manager to the other you, you are told come tomorrow we'll sort you out and it was very frustrating most, most of the banks we get uh, you will find people who are employed there like they don't have information uh, maybe they have the information but they are not willing to give out the the right information because they want to sell first they want you to open an account with them and they have been given targets so the information which they, they give you they'll give you in, information which will make you open the account basically the the uh, we need to get the right information right from the start when you are opening the account so that uh, you get uh, you get to know where where maybe the, there are some deduction of your money at the end of the, any transaction majina yangu naitwa nanse wanja ah uh, ni kumi ni mwanabiashara wa Githurai. Ah, uh, mimi ni mzazi wa Minji, hii ni Rosel na Litero. Kuna challenges zile zinapatanga watu kwa biashara, sometimes unakuta biashara imeenda sini. Haya, saa nyingine unakuta biashara inaenda juu. Kwa hivyo wakati biashara ziko chini, some ndio tunahitaji mikopo ya hapa na pale, tunaenda kukopa hapa na pale, unakopa on daily basis. Mimi nikilinganisha pesa ya ya banki ama ya sako. Ah, kwa sako interest ya chako ni bed, ni kidogo sana. Lakini kwa bank unakuta unakuta saa hii wamekupatia a loan of 100,000 lakini unakuta unalipa kama 1,300. Lakini kwa sako haiku yangi na faida kubwa sana. Kwa hivyo na free fire sako in stand of bank ki sababu nikienda kwa bank kila mtu atakuwa anajua mpaka nitaitishwa masignatures wa kunisainia lakini ya talama ya ya mswali haitisi signatures haitisi mambo mingi kwa hivyo mimi naenda tu na nikukanyakanya tu kwa simu alafu pesa inaingia kwa hivyo na tumefurahia sana mambo ya tara mambo ya mswali KMBC those are the, the quick means of mikopo ile tunapenda tuna, tuna sana
Okay, my name is Edith Konyango. I'm a managing partner in a catering business that is owned by two ladies. Uh, with regards to financial services, we have two bank accounts. Since, since this is a partnership, we, we both jointly have to sign in order to access services. Yeah, so either way, we still have to use the traditional method go into the bank to actually get cash. With regards to payments, yeah, we are able to accept investor payment payments. So for this course, we realized that we are able to get a lot more money because people don't always have to carry cash around with them. And over the time, yeah, I mean, I don't have to go to the ATM at all. I even have an ATM card that I will only use when, because it's a visa, I used to pay bills. I don't really use it to access money. When I need to get money, I will just go onto the line, I will use my phone to go onto the online mobile app and access money. And this definitely makes things easy. And uh, well, so far, the individual clients also pay as using mobile money. So still very good. Uh, the bigger clients, of course, will pay by bank transfers or by checks, so that means those have to go into the bank account. Yeah, I think the banks need to be more, more friendly or come up with something that, because for us being a partnership, when I need to get money, I still have to physically go into a bank because I have to walk in with a check that is signed by both signatories. We cannot have an ATM card because this is a partnership. So I think the banks should consider doing something. Uh, 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 I think I think mobile banking has helped increase in terms of volumes. Because sometimes the people who, when they walk in here, the first thing they will ask is, do you have a team? So in that case, there are people who will comfortably come here because they know that they will actually they can pay by MSA even if they don't have cash. Because as it is right now, there's so many requirements and small, so many small prints that banks require before they can actually give you the, even the minimum of loan regardless of the fact that you have lots of money with them. So getting an overdraft facility is close to impossible so I hope that this initiative is going to help them understand our needs so that they come up with a product that will help us. Naitwa Paul Suyanka na niko na miaka 29. Niko na watoto wawili. Mmoja shule, mwingine bado hajaingia shule. Eh mimi na saving na natumia equity lakini sijapata pesa ya ku save. Ningependa kuanzia biashara. Eh lakini sasa ndio naanza kujipanga nipate pesa ya kuanzia biashara mwaka uliopita singeweza ku save ama ku, kujipanga kwa vile niligonjeka na ikawa matumizi yangu yote yameingia kwa gharama ya hospitali eh, so ile pesa nilikuwa nimeweka yote ilitumika kwa saa zingine life inakuwa ngumu kama uko na familia kigonjeka unaweza tumia pesa vile ukuwa umejipanga. Yeah. Lakini kulingana na vile umejipanga naona ita recover tu. Antarudisha ile mali nilipea ama ile pesa niliotumia. Kufanya kwa kusave na kwa kuweka kwa bank nipate kuanzia biashara. Sijai tumia tala mshwari kwa sababu wanapatia na loan kidogo mkopo wa chini sana ambaye haiwezi anzia biashara yoyote. Jai pata kuchukua loan kwa banki yoyote ile ama kwa equity kwa sababu ya eh, inahitaji mtu ambaye ana save ama ako na anapata pesa kila mwisho wa mwezi. So sijawahi sijawahi fikiria ku save na kuchukua loans. is Kitara Kimathi. Okay, I'm an entrepreneur at Kangemi Business Center where I have a cyber cafe. To start my business, I started with my own capital and uh, towards growing the business, I, I decided to take some loans from from Tala, from KCB Mpesa, after which, which it wasn't enough. I decided to partner with a saving circle that I had been since Three months ago, where I took a loan of eighty thousand and added up to my to my capital, so that I could rent a house where it's strategically accessible by my customers. These loans, uh, first of all, the one I took from Tala, 
I borrowed from KCB and Pesa so that I can pay it because the period was 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 almost. Actually, I like betting a lot. I love football, and uh, I like placing my bet, even though I don't know I don't know the the results which will come after. The little profit that I make, I take at least even 50 bob, which I take it to Sport Pesa, and at least see if I can get some casual money to juggle in between my other responsibilities. For the medium loan givers, they should reduce how they pressure a client to pay that money. Sometimes business is bad and you cannot be sure that you'll pay within that one month. Banks of, uh, give, give the loans but the process of processing the loan is uh, like too much. The processing of the loan is too much. You have to be told to bring how many guarantors and the interest rate I find it so high than circles and these other small scale loan givers.